Michael Mead, the wine guy here from Val's and Vino. Today we're talking about Chenin Blanc. What is Chenin Blanc? Thanks to our little wine folly right here. Cool page here that kind of goes through it. Chenin Blanc is a white grape varietal. It's not a blend, it's not an area, it's not a region. Chenin Blanc is the actual type of white grape. Chenin Blanc is a white grape that I've really fallen to and fallen in love with because it's always gonna have that high acidity. That's gonna be one of your dead giveaways. But from there, you're gonna have a lot of versatility. Chenin Blanc is home and most widely known and kind of the best Chenin Blancs are coming out of the Loire Valley on the Western part called Vouvray, which we actually have a bottle of right here. So a little trip, little trick and tip to, to, to navigate the world of wine and looking for these bottles. If you want to try a Chenin Blanc and you're looking at a, a wine menu or you're walking through Total Wine or Specs, whatever it is, look for the name Vouvray. Vouvray is your appellation. That's your area. If you see Vouvray, it's going to be 100% Chenin Blanc. The cool thing about Chenin Blanc is, is it's used in a very versatile way, a lot kind of like Riesling. So most famously, most well known is going to be your dry, still Vouvray's, where it's gonna be no residual sugar, but it is actually made in off dry and sweet versions where they leave some residual sugar there and you have some sweetness. Vouvray's also used in sparkling wines and they'll actually take I'm sorry, not Vouvray, but they'll take Chenin Blanc in that area and they'll make sparkling wines out of that Chenin Blanc. Furthermore, which is cool and which I've seen is that Chenin Blanc is actually kind of spreading its wings and getting outside of the Loire Valley. And you may see it in South Africa and you're actually starting to see it pop up in California a little bit, which right here you have Dwayne Wade's Chenin Blanc. So quick little recap, high acid. It's also known as an aromatic wine. So if you're ever drinking a white wine or if you come across it, as you swat around and as you smell it, you really get a lot of aromatics. You're getting a lot of those floral characteristics. You're also getting some degrees of honey, which you can see on this one right here, which is the Vouvray. If you, oh man, I wish you could smell through this camera right now, because right away you're getting honey and you're getting a lot of floral characteristics, which is why they call it an aromatic wine. For these, they typically do not age them in oak because that oak is gonna act as a masking agent and it's gonna take away a lot of those aromatics and kind of flatten it out. So, these are made in stainless steel tanks that really allow those aromatics to really kind of jump out and hit you in the nose. So if you're looking for something, if you're tired of Sauv Blancs, Kim Crawford's and Rombauer Chardonnay's, take a trip on over to the Loire Valley and give yourself a swing at a Vouvray and, and try some Chenin Blancs. I'm Michael Mead, the wine guy. Thanks for having a drink with me.